For the second time, Knox County deputies swarmed a house in Halls with family connections to a horrific scene in Roan County tied to child abuse. For six hours, officers went through the house and backyard shed, hauling out bags of evidence. They also interviewed a man neighbors say is the son of the Roan County couple charged in that abuse case. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan has been on the scene throughout the day and he saw deputies as they banged on the door with some papers. That's right, Cole. It has been an all day search in what could be yet another twist in this case. Exactly right, Robin. It began just around 1030 this morning, didn't wrap up until four o'clock this afternoon. The house behind me belongs to the son of that Rome County couple accused of that horrific child abuse case. And deputies brought out boxes of evidence, computer equipment, even large pieces of drywall. Michael Gray Sr. and his wife Shirley Gray are char facing charges that they abused four kids, locking one in the basement for four years. Evidence warrants say they bur buried a 10 year old girl in the barn after a starvation diet of bread and water, feeding her that diet before she died. It is not confirmed yet. Officials will not confirm whether the search here in Halls is directly related to that Roan County case, but the investigators on that Roan County case were speaking with Michael Anthony Gray Jr. here today. It began with a bang on the door, but no one was home. A dozen Knox County Sheriff's officers fanned out around the Hall's house and searched inside until this man arrived. Neighbors say he's Michael Anthony Gray Jr., the homeowner and son of the couple arrested for child abuse, neglect, and kidnapping in Roan County. Michael, do you have anything to say? This search comes five days after neighbors say investigators dug through the backyard with a coroner's van parked outside. In their latest search, deputies brought out bags of evidence and computer equipment. They examined three cars and the backyard shed. Detectives carried out boxes for diapers and dog training pads, even a painting and this large metal tool. Huge sections of what could be drywall were carted off as Gray Jr. and his partner looked on. At times, investigators working the case in Rome County appeared to question the pair. Neighbors say Gray Jr. is in the gray shirt, speaking here with one of the investigators working the Roan County case. Those investigators have been here watching the search since it began around 1030. Neighbors say Gray Sr. and his wife Shirley used to live here with young children. They moved to Roan County in 2016. That's when warrants say they began locking the kids in the basement to punish them. Authorities have not officially confirmed this hall's search is related to those charges in Roan County. Some five and a half hours after the search began here in Halls, around four o'clock, deputies finally left this location. A short time later, just within the last hour, Michael Gray Jr. has left. He packed a suitcase, put it in his car and drove away. It is important to note he is not facing any public charges at this time. Back to you. Cole Sullivan live for us tonight in Halls. And we have more on this case online right now. That includes what we know from the couple's first court appearance and details about the horrible conditions the children were forced to live in for years. All that online at WBIR.com.